Hello, my name is Michael and I work for Aurel Systems. This video will introduce a couple of applications using the link between CAD SIM Plus and OLI. The first application is how to use this link in order to predict if scaling will occur under different circumstances as a calcium bearing solution is passed through a heat exchanger. The second will use a historical data set to drive the simulation in order to examine if scaling may have occurred during previous operation. First, as an introduction to these two applications, I will go through some of this flow sheet I have created. In the sheet, I am pumping three types of warm water into a warm water tank. Condenser water, sump water, and fresh water. The warm water is pumped to a heat exchanger to generate hot water, using the steam that we can see coming from the top. We notice that there are two different stream chemistries in this CADSIM drawing, one for steam and one for the three calcium bearing solutions. I did this for simplicity, in order to focus our attention on the liquid stream's potential for scaling. Finally, I've set up a clock on the top right to give an indication of the timescales we're dealing with in this dynamic simulation. Each of the three liquid streams have a different pH, flow rate, temperature, and calcium concentration. You'll notice I've drawn each of these measurements on a flow sheet, as you might for a PNID for clarity. As the simulation runs, you can select a sensor and see what values it is reporting. The water streams enter a tank, mix, and then are pumped to a heat exchanger where the water is heated up to 70 degrees Celsius. I have set up an OLI reactor after the heat exchanger, which is given the composition of solution leaving the heat exchanger at its new temperature. We will use this to predict if scale is going to form through the heat exchanger by watching if solid is predicted to form by the OLI calculations. In order to watch this, I will set up a line chart. As you can see right now, there is no solid predicted to be formed in the current mixture of solution. Using the setup, I want to determine two things. First, if the solution has the potential to form a scale, which is a typical calculation performed by OLI. And second, how long it takes before this happens when a pump is turned off. And this is a unique problem that we can solve using the link between CADSIM Plus and OLI. I have three different liquid solutions being pumped in. One named condenser water, which is warmer and has a moderate level of calcium in it. Sump water, which is room temperature, but has higher levels of calcium in it. And finally, a freshwater stream, which is cooler and has the lowest amount of calcium in it. In this scenario, I'm going to turn off the freshwater pump to mimic it being taken out of service. I want to see how long it takes for the concentration of calcium in the warm water tank to reach a level high enough that scaling begins to form through the heat exchanger. To begin this, I've paused the simulation and made a note of the time. Now I will select the on-off switch for the fresh water pump and turn the pump off and run the simulation again, watching for solid to begin forming. At this point, we can see that OLI is predicting a scale will form in these conditions. This roughly took three hours and gives us a prediction of the amount of time we have without fresh water being fed before scaling may occur. This example demonstrates how you can use CADSIM Plus and OLI working together to understand dynamic changes in a process. We can extend this even further and use time-based data from a historian to drive the simulation and predict if scaling may have occurred in the past and under what conditions this may have happened. To demonstrate this, I've modified the flow sheet we looked at previously. Using a COM connection to Excel, we can feed historical data into CADSIM Plus and use the OLI reactor as an analysis tool to identify when conditions are such that scaling may have occurred. For the purposes of this video, I've kept the sheet nearly the same as the previous example, with the exception of this COM communication block I've set up here. Briefly, the block either sends or receives data from Excel. I am using the clock to send a date and time to Excel, and I set up the Excel file to send back flow, temperature, pH, and calcium concentrations associated with that moment in time. We'll take a quick look at this within Excel now. I've set up the Excel sheet with data for the temperatures, pHs, flows, and calcium concentrations for each of the three streams. Generally, the COM connection updates the Excel sheet with CADSIM's current simulated time, and then sends back to CADSIM the sensor values associated with that moment in time. The continuous sensors, the ones for pH, temperature, and flow, have their values reported hourly, and I've interpolated between each. However, the calcium assays are reported every six hours, and I have these values set to change only when a new value is reported. 
I have made a simple scatter plot of one of the sensor's flow data to give you a general idea of how things are changing with time. Generally, this Excel sheet is providing the input data to drive our simulation, so we'll go back to CADSIM and see how this affects our simulation. When the simulation is run, we can see our three water streams are changing as the Excel sheet is being communicated with. We can now use OLI to predict if scaling may have occurred in the heat exchanger while accounting for the dynamics in the process. This can be taken a step beyond a comm link and directly connect CADSIM to a DCS server through an OPC connection. In this way, you could run a simulation alongside your actual process with live data being fed into CADSIM and OLI. Using this method, you can set up a pseudo sensor of sorts to give an alarm when conditions are such that you may expect scaling. In this example, we can see how we can analyze large data sets rapidly to understand if there's been a combination of flow of these three streams such that we might see a scale forming.